Here are the four types of shoes that every dude needs in their wardrobe. Let's get right into it. The first one is the most essential on this list. It's gonna be your main shoe for every single outfit you wear. It's gonna be your workhorse, your power freaking shoe, and that is a white minimalist leather sneaker. You can't go wrong with one of these. I mean, for any occasion, for any outfit, these will get the job done. I've worn them with obviously shorts, anytime wearing jeans, anytime wearing pants. It doesn't matter the color of the pants because white goes with every single freaking outfit. I mean, I've even worn these sweet suits. Like when I was wearing a full suit and I went to a wedding recently where I wore these, they looked really good. It was a great way to take a full suit and just make it a touch casual for a summertime wedding look. The best part about these shoes is that you can get them pretty affordably on the market. You can find white leather sneakers for anywhere from 50 bucks all the way to what these are, the common projects for 450 bucks. If you're new to style and fashion, then you probably are still wearing your running athletic shoes everywhere from the gym to work to school to even probably hang out with your friends. And that's not a good look, man. I, I want better for you. So the best way to do that is to just level up slightly by elevating your look with a white leather sneaker. It's still a sneaker, but it's classier and it's way more presentable than what you're probably wearing right now. I mean, I know dudes who rock this every single season. They don't even own any other pairs of shoes. They just wear a white leather sneaker with everything, all seasons long, with no matter what occasion comes their way. And it still looks pretty freaking great. Try to spend more money than less. It's more important to buy something of a higher quality when it comes to your daily footwear. I know there's a lot of options on the market, so buy the best one you can afford, and this is not a time to really skimp out. So save up money in order to do so. Get yourself a pair of white leather sneakers first. So the second one's where the fun really starts. Though this is not technically a shoe, I think it's definitely a staple in every man's wardrobe, and that is a Chelsea boot. I have one here in gray suede because I just think it looks really badass. It's from a company called Thursday Boots. I think a great Chelsea boot or any type of Chelsea boot that's in suede is an essential for men because one, boots are masculine. It makes you taller, it makes you feel better. And once again, Chelsea boots are just so simple. There, there's no laces, it's all elastic. You just slip your foot in and go. So it has a very clean silhouette. It looks great under jeans. Anytime I wear jeans, I wear this. I don't think you need to wear Chelsea boots with chinos or pants or, I mean, you could rock it with suits. That's one of those things, if you know the rules, you can break them. But this is my go-to casual wear. Anytime I'm grabbing a beer with the boys, anytime I'm hanging out with friends casually, anytime I'm even going to work and it's not a super formal day, I grab a Chelsea boot. It's my no-brainer boot when I want to just wear something that's a bit more elevated style and ruggish. Uh, and I'm feeling myself. I want to be more masculine that day. I go for my Chelsea boot. The third pair is a great athletic running shoe that fits like a glove. I love these ones by On. They're the cloud running shoes and they really do feel like you're walking on a cloud. These are important because anytime you're not dressing up, because there's many times, let's say you're going grocery shopping or you're just going for a walk in the park or you're walking your dogs or whatever that is, you want a good shoe that really doesn't fail you. And that's where the shoe comes in. I don't want you to fall into the trap of wearing these everywhere. Just because they're comfortable doesn't mean they should be your default mode. These should be only there for athletic activities, for working out in the gym, and I hope you are going regularly, but this is what you want to do. Let's say you're traveling. This is what you want to wear as well. I think personally that a great pair of running shoes shouldn't be those neon colors. I know a lot of dudes are getting into those, the neon blues and the pinks and the greens. I'm someone who likes to be a little bit more minimalistic. I, little, I like to be a little bit more in stealth mode. So get yourself a good pair of running shoes that fits you like a glove, and please, please, please don't make the fashion mistake of wearing these every single time you go anywhere. I have other shoes for that on this list. The fourth and final shoe on this list that is often overlooked sometimes, but I think is important to bring back is the men's dress loafer. Uh, in particular, a brown color one, because I think brown is way more versatile than black. A brown dress loafer is oh, starting to get forgotten. And, and it kind of bothers me because you have these dudes wearing Cole Hans that are comfortable or once again wearing athletic sneakers all the time. If you're dressing up and you're really going to a nice restaurant or you're going on a date or you're, or you're meeting uh, someone for the first time, you want to give them a great impression, uh, Tom Ford says his best, that dressing well is a form of good manners and you can never go wrong with overdressing for an event. I want you to be someone who shows respect to someone else. If you're going for a wedding, if you're going for a birthday party, wear a dress loafer. It looks fantastic on jeans, it looks fantastic on chinos, and of course, if you're wearing a suit, you wanna wear this as well. This is my default shoe when I know I need to look good, uh, and I don't know what to wear, I wear these. And also in the summertime, you can rock them with just like no-show socks and with shorts, and people will literally compliment you because they're like, dude, that looks freaking great. Like, I've never seen that many people wearing it uh, anymore. So get yourself a pair of dress loafers. You're not a boy anymore. I want you to become a man, and men wear dress loafers. And don't tell me they're uncomfortable. I know they're a bit uncomfortable. You have to break them in and really get used to it and mold it into your shape. But once you get through the break-in period, I'm telling you, man, these are absolutely comfortable. They range from all over of price on the market. This one is also just like the white leather sneakers. I want you to invest in a quality piece that will last you a lifetime. These ones are Ferragamos. You don't need Ferragamos. There's a lot of great brands, uh, but 
get yourself a brown dress loafer that's gonna last you and that you're gonna love. So let me know in the comments below, what is one shoe that you think every dude needs in their wardrobe? Is it one of these from the list I mentioned today or maybe something I totally forgot? If you guys got any value from this video at all today, please go ahead and subscribe and smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps me know that all the energy, effort, and work that I'm putting into creating amazing content for you guys is being appreciated. If you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for content I only share on those platforms every single day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.